just a second. But first of all, here's what it looks like, and here's how it Ask FM works. You just log on, and you can ask and answer anything you want, all types of questions. But here's the catch. It's anonymous. So you could be as cruel as you want to be, and no name is attached. All right, let's bring in District Attorney Investigator Mike Harris. So, Mike, your office, I've, I'm told, has been flooded with phone calls from parents concerned about this. What are they telling you? Well, we've been recently contacted by numerous people here at the Jefferson County District Attorney's Office from parents, teachers, and even kids. And uh, this is just becoming such an epidemic uh, to the point where so many kids now are flocking to this. And these kids lay out their feelings, their emotions, and then being anonymous, the problem is, is all these kids are getting backlash uh, when they do that and then they can't uh, it, they don't know how to react and oftentimes it leads them to the point where uh, they do destructive things to themselves so is that what parents are most concerned about is is that the child is getting so defeated that it may turn to something like suicide like what we're seeing through these other social media sites and the bullying that takes place that and I, what we're concerned about as well as parents is a lot of parents don't even know their kids are using this as an outlet uh, such as Facebook because this is pretty unknown to a lot of parents, educators, and even law enforcement. And the problem is is uh, trying to combat this problem when no one knows about it. And that's why we did this press release trying to alert parents and the community because if no one knows about it and no one knows where their kids are having an outlet and stating their emotions, we need to have everyone because parents are our first line of defense in the safety of our children. Well, you know what we did? We went around to even our team, Mike, and said, hey, do your kids know about this? Are they on it? And one of my producers actually uh, talked to his 15-year-old daughter and said, okay, why do you like this site? Why are you on it? And here's what she told him. So I asked my daughter why she likes Ask FM. She says because everyone has one, because people can ask you whatever they want to, and it's anonymous. She says it's always good when you're the person asking questions or just a random reader because it's funny, but it can be bad too. All right, well, let's bring in the digital correspondent Kelly Wallace, mom of two, with some pretty blunt advice. You actually, Kelly, don't beat around the bush. You say, don't give your kid a smartphone. I know, it's a radical idea, Kira, but you know, I did talk to some parent advocates, even some bullying experts who say, yes, your kid can have a cell phone, but maybe hold back on giving them a smartphone until they are a little bit older. So it's a radical idea, and also you have to encounter the peer pressure, but it is a concept to think about in terms of not exposing the kids to some of these social applications at a young age. We also have to know about the technology and talk about the technology, right? Th that is the key thing, and that's what your previous guest was just talking about, you know, we're not familiar with it, right? So we need to become familiar with it. And I talked to uh, a sheriff who also said that if you're not a tech whiz, it's okay. Find someone, find a friend of yours who knows about technology, do some research online, be familiar with these applications, with what your kids are doing, and then talk to your kids about it as well. Yeah, Wendy, that's where you come in. How do we talk to our kids and tell them, look, this is not necessarily a good thing? Well, you have to be in the online ecosystem with them. Um, I've been on Ask FM with my daughter, sitting with her, and we see what goes on. I follow her on Twitter. She is my Facebook friend. This is the way that my 15-year-old and I are able to navigate the world together so that I can give her advice along the way.